Hello. So this is a beauty blabber. Clearly I had had makeup on before and I removed it for some reason and now I just put on some mascara and some lip gloss. I just really needed to make this quick video because this is absolutely ridiculous. If you have ever ordered from Nordstrom, you know that they ship everything in these giant boxes. Okay, I'm trying not to show an address. Now, when UPS showed up today, by the way, completely ridiculous, but they said that my package was out for delivery at 1.30 in the a.m. and it didn't get here until 6.30 in the p.m. Not sure what that's about, but mm. I look on our stoop. Stoop kids afraid to leave a stoop. I look on our stoop, okay, and there are two of these boxes. Two of these. And I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit because I'm like, what did they send me that I didn't order? You know, I'm, I'm double checking on the website. This is before I even opened the boxes. I'm not sure why I did this. I'm double checking on the website to make sure that like, did I order two of these? Did I only order one? What, what are they sending me? So two of these. I opened the first one and this is in it. Do you know what this is? This is the foundation of foundations, apparently. I will get into that another day, but so I'm like, okay, that's correct. That is what I ordered. Fine. Well, keep in mind the size of that box and the size of this. The whole box was full of tissue paper. I, yeah, I don't know. So I opened the other box. Please keep in mind the size, okay? <laughs> and you want to know what was in it? These samples. They paid to ship samples <laughs> in one of those boxes. What was so difficult about packing these together in a smaller box? I got my stuff. My stuff is fine. I didn't pay extra shipping or anything. I'm just completely baffled by this entire concept. Like, what are they thinking and why are they wasting so many trees? I mean, you should have seen the amount of packing, whoa. You should have seen the amount of packing material they used to ship samples. I mean, even if they were like, oh shoot, we forgot to include her samples into this box. I really don't care. I didn't pay for them. I'm not, I didn't need them. They didn't need to ship them separately. I've been meaning to discuss this for a little while now. And I wanted to mention the 226 brush. A little background for some of you. This brush is limited edition. It was released in some collection a couple years ago or something. And they, you know, it was this hyped up thing. Everybody wanted a 226 brush. People were swapping for it. People were finding it on eBay, probably getting fakes, blah, 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 all this nonsense with this brush. Then with the Mac Me Over collection, they re-released it and everybody was going crazy. Everybody was all excited until the collection was actually released. And they said, oh, sorry, because of production issues, we're only selling this in store, not online, in store, unless you ordered it from Nordstrom. I think they were the only online retailer that was selling it. I can't tell you how annoyed that made me. I mean, obviously I got it. I actually did order it from Nordstrom's website. I'm not complaining about the brush itself because it is a good brush and I am happy that I own it. It's actually pretty perfect for my crease because I have a smaller eyeball. Just the overall way that they handled this brush really, really annoyed me and really kind of proves my point that that isn't obnoxious at all. <laughs> what is this? You done? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, <laughs> excuse that brief interruption. I feel like it just 
proves my point that Mac really, really, really likes to see people scramble with their whole limited edition thing. I feel like just the principle of the thing. I feel like I shouldn't have gotten it, but I did anyway. Anywho, I guess I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go film another video. And, um, yeah.